I kind of wanted to show you guys um, my grocery run that I do every Sunday. Um, and this is just for me. This isn't for my clients. Um, it's just a video. Um, I really just wanted to take you guys inside um, my kitchen as far as what we eat and um, how I shop. So I shop in two places. I get my milk and um, my orange juice from Aldi's. It's not the best. It's not organic almonds. It's not organic oranges, but it's practical and I'm a millennial and I'm an entrepreneur. So majority of the things that I did buy, um, I would say 95% is um, organic um, and came from the farmer's market. But for things like, like my breads and things like that, um, I tend to get those from other grocery stores just for cost efficiency and convenience. Um, so I've got some Brussels sprouts here. Um, I love Brussels sprouts because they're very versatile and they're stocky. And when I mean they're stocky, I mean that they're sturdy vegetables um, that really leave you with a full filling rather than like for me, a green bean um, does not fill me up. But for some reason, if I eat like nine or 10 Brussels sprouts, I'm, I'm full. Terrence likes to roast his. If I'm not eating my vegetables raw, I like to uh, steam them. So then we've got some blackberries um, and then we've got some blueberries here. I've got some strawberries. Um, I love arugula. So this is what I use to make most of my salads out of. Um, a lot of times I'll top it with um, some fresh broccoli or alfalfa sprouts. And if I do feel like being luxurious, I'll um, you know get some pea sprouts. But that's why it's so important to sprout your own greens um, because it just saves cost efficiency. And then it's a fun process because you really get to watch them grow. So then I've got some red creamer potatoes. I like to use these for breakfast. So what I'll do is I'll cut them and um, chunk them into fours and then I'll um, roast them in the oven with some nutritional yeast sometimes, or sometimes I just use a little bit of olive or sesame oil and then um, roll them in dill, and then uh, top it with some steamed kale um, and some other good veggies for like a breakfast, um, breakfast hash. So then I've got some snap peas here. I like to steam beans. I also like to eat these raw. Um, I'll actually just, um, rinse them really good like twice in uh, vinegar my vinegar wash and then um i'll put them and then i'll dip them in like my hummus and i usually make my own hummus like this is just me being lazy i never buy these um so then i've got some organic bananas i use these aiden's loves these terrence loves these um i do put them in my smoothies sometimes um, we've got some fresh avocados here. I literally eat an avocado, an avocado every single day. I smear it on my bagel. I smear it on my toast. I put it on sandwiches. I eat it like it's a mango. Um, I just live and die by avocado. Then I've got a little bark of ginger. I'll either juice this or I'll throw it in a smoothie. Or sometimes, like if I'm eating my blackberries, I like to shave, um, the ginger and uh, put it on top of my fruit for like a fresh fruit berry salad. Then I've got some purple cabbage. Um, sometimes I like to put this in a fermentation jar and ferment it and make like sauerkraut. Um, and there's also a really good drink called Rejuvelac that I learned at the Living Food Institute and it, use, it uses organic purple cabbage and um, you pretty much let it sit in a jar for like six to seven days and then it makes a really good uh, probiotic because red cabbage has a probiotic um, that's naturally in it. And when you allow it to ferment in water, um, it really brings that out. And it's really good for you. Um, but just don't drink too much of it at one time if you're not used to it because uh, then you can make, give yourself gas. Then we got some grapes. I love grapes. It's really like a go-to snack for me. Sometimes I even dip them in hummus. Sounds nasty, but it's really good. Then we've got an artichoke. I usually don't bite artichokes, but I love artichokes. Um, and I want to play with it. I saw a really good recipe on Food 52 um, that used uh, artichoke as a base to stuff. Um, and it looked really good. And I like stuffing vegetables because it, for me, gives me an opportunity to um, make a dish out of a vegetable and stuff it with vegetables and gives me a full meal. <clears throat> so yeah, I love that. And then I've got some broccoli. 
Um, and I'm gonna put this in some some um can, like some mixed veggie quinoa. Uh, I'll Aiden likes broccoli. He likes his steamed. Um, so I'll probably do some steamed broccoli. And then it's just a great vegetable to um steam and throw on like your rice, your quinoa, or your barley bowls. And I've got a organic uh, pineapple. Aiden loves pineapple. I make, I mean, I make a bromley and turmeric smoothie, which really does help if you have arthritis or if you're suffering from just like joint pain. Because for me, when the seasons change, um, it's almost like my body knows because it starts hurting. Um, and that's just the shift. That's just accelerating ascension, um, just vibrating into higher energy. So I've got some um, large asparagus here from the farmer's market too. Um, and I like to roast these. You can steam these. You can grill these. It's about to get time for the grills to come back out. Um, so if you wrap this up in some foil, throw it on the grill with some seasoning, it is off the chain. And then I live and die by sweet potatoes. I really have fallen back in love with them. Um, when I was pregnant with Aiden, all I ate was baked potatoes. And now all I eat is stuffed and loaded uh, sweet potatoes. So it's really funny. And I'm not pregnant. Don't ask me. Um, <laughs> and then I've got some fennel because I do want to make an arugula, apple, and fennel, fennel salad. Um, that I'm going to put up on the website and make a video for it. Aloe vera plant. And I literally use this for my face, my hair, um, my skin products. I put aloe in pretty much everything that does deals with the bathroom and beauty. So I did get a couple of other things um, from the store and I'm gonna go uh, get them, hold on. Yeah, so I got these, um, I'm really sad because they were out of the raw uh, shelled almonds and I really don't get it like anything that's roasted because you pretty much like kill them. Um, but I'm still gonna make some almond milk out of these anyway because people really wanna see how I make it. So I'm gonna do um, an almond milk video. And look at that, $3.30 for a half a pound of almonds. But they're way more expensive when you get the raw and shell kind. Um, but it's definitely worth it because you get the nutrition, nutrient um, uh, benefits of the raw. But then I've got some um, quinoa right here. And then I've got some organic baby carrots. I love this for um, hummus. Aiden loves taking these to school with hummus and ranch, um, vegan ranch dressing. Um, but I love these and then this is really like my favorite snack ever like I could eat these every single day with um, Zero expectations to eat anything else and be happy and I get these from the local farmer market. They, they're really sweet They're really sweet like the sugar plum It's it's not like it's sweet and it tastes like the actual grapes and I actually would rather prefer to eat the sugar plum tomatoes than the actual grapes um, which are fruits, so it's interesting. And then I've got some lentils. Um, I like the green ones, the French green lentils. Um, I make like lentil burgers out of this, um, soups, um, all different kinds of things I use lentils for. And then I've got some raw almond flour. Um, I like making um, like protein balls out of these. Aiden likes them. I use some almond butter, coconut. Um, shreds, some dates, and they're just really yummy. So I've got some fresh cilantro here. Um, this is really, I fell in love with cilantro, honestly, at the Living Food Institute. Maria puts cilantro on absolutely everything. Um, and then I've got some organic um, Italian parsley here. And I'm gonna put this in my water because it's a great cleanser um, for like your urinary tract system. And this month of February, my kidneys have been like really speaking to me so I want to really um, flush my system out and the really the best way to do it is with herbal tonics um, so I'm gonna make a couple of those and then I've got my um, cauliflower here I'm really sad because this is a four guy so what this means is that it was made with herbicides and pesticides they didn't have any organic and um, I really wanted cauliflower so it's not gonna kill me um, but you really want to make sure that when you're purchasing um, your fruits and vegetables that this number is not a start to the four or three or six or seven but that it only starts with the number nine that's how you know that it's organic um and then i've got some yummy green onions here and i just pretty much put those in like all of my fresh especially when i'm eating raw um green onions for me just gives it so much flavor uh, uh we will be diving into this for about a week and i'll make sure that i um give you guys some great recipes 
that you can um, use all of these goodness for. So, yep, I love you. And this is how I shop for two adults and a baby for 70 bucks. And 95% of it is all organic, fresh um, fruits and vegetables that come from our local farmer's market. I'll see you guys. Bye.